Dollar Tree. Ribeye steak, one dollar. All right, guys, before I go in here, I you're probably wondering, Gia, uh, seriously, another back-to-school haul? This isn't a back-to-school haul. This is, well, it kind of is, um, you know, because I've really been obsessing over, like, math journals and doing homework at home and work at home, and I've been following all these teachers on Instagram and on YouTube, and it's just really motivated me. So, um, but first, hi! If this is your first time watching me, my name is Gia. Welcome to my channel. Click the subscribe button. Become a part of my YouTube family. And for those already subscribed, welcome back. All right, guys, we're going to go into Dollar Tree. I'm going to only get the things that I need, I hope, and then head on back home. One thing I don't like at the Dollar Tree are their crayons. They aren't good quality, and they don't really color right, so I don't like those. Hmm... This is the what's left, I guess, of the back to school. I'm a little bit late, late to the party. I like these. That's cute. Sharpie brand highlighter, but you only get one for a dollar. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but I'm just gonna get it. Now this is cute. Oh, see, they have the Crayola brand crown. It's only 16, but still, it's much better to me. They they don't color right the color doesn't come out right but these are really cute I don't know what I'm gonna use these for yet but I think I'll be able to use them for some manipulatives these little messenger bags are so cute I love that they look like they're waterproof too look at this little mini Mickey Mouse washi tape Disney princess I think I'm gonna get some of the girls to use for their um, journals that I'm gonna be creating I'm creating I'm gonna be creating a preschool journal for Ava um, Ava Zara's gonna have her writing journal and then also a um, a uh, math journal. Look at this washi tape, it's cute. So cute. These are really cute. These pencil cases, I have like a pencil case obsession though. I love them. This is cute too. I love that you can write on this like a dry erase board um, and wipe it off. At least I think you can, I'm not sure, but you can put it in a binder. Look at this Elmore's brand, school tape and glue pen. It's like regular tape and a glue pen. That's different. I kind of want to get it just for the glue pen though. Okay. Look at all the fall stuff. It's so pretty, so cute, right? I'm too lazy to decorate for fall though. I just feel like it comes up, it just hops up on you too fast and then it's Thanksgiving and all of a sudden it's Christmas and I go all in and out for Christmas but like all the other holidays I'm just so lazy. But um, this stuff is cute though. If you want to get it from the Dollar Tree now's the time. Okay, so why don't you guys tell me to come here instead of Hobby Lobby, right? Because <sighs> Hobby Lobby is so high. Oh, these feathers, I may get some of these feathers and send them into school because the teacher likes to... Um, have that on hand. Wait a minute, baby. Um, but Zara likes to make little stuff. These little clothespins, I think, would be so cute. I'm just trying to think of how I can use them. Um, we're pushing sight words really hard with Zara. I mean, she knows quite a bit of them, but I'm just working off of the fries list to continue. But um, I think I'm just going to get these because I think I could use them somehow. I just don't know how yet. And then some more googly eyes. It's a okay. pig puzzle. You want this? Yeah. Okay. That's going to be yours. You want to pick something out for your sister? Yeah. They have the cutest little night lights here. For a dollar, you can't beat them. That's cute. There are lots of STEM projects you could do with marbles that I plan on doing with them. Um, with Zara, another cute kindergarten. I'm just like really, really pumped about this school year. Oh, I was obsessed with cash registers when I was a kid, but I would have loved this. So cute. They have self-laminating sheets here. I've never seen these here at Costco. I meant at Costco. <laughs> at Dollar Tree. Um, I was thinking about laminating some um, flashcards for her. I can probably fit two on one sheet here, so I think I'm going to get these. Remember my Hobby Lobby haul? Tough this eye right here. If you missed that, but I was talking about the cardboard. It was like $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. They have it here. It's a little bit smaller for $1, so I think I'm going to get it so that the kids can play with Play-Doh on it. 
like this art pad. It's so big for the kids, but paper's super like thin. That, you don't get that much in it, but honey, I bought you one already in this doodle Ooh, pad. The teacher's corner here is so small. I don't have much in it. You know, each Dollar Tree is different. Some Dollar Trees are better than others for certain things. Oh, look at this. Sweet words. Mommy, oh, that's for grades two to three. This is really cute. And I think I might get this for and put different sight words on there. Color it with different sight words. That's cool. These are new here. And I love that they're dye free and triclosan free. Hmm, I think I might try these. All right, here we are in the organizational section. The bread and butter of the Dollar Tree World. Looking for the kids' tongs. That helps with um, fine motor skills. Let me see if I can find them. I couldn't find the kid tongs, but they have these little plastic ones. I'm hoping this will do this do the job, but we'll see. They don't have the hard binders here anymore. It's just like this plastic kind. That's kind of cheap. That kind of sucks. They used to have the hard binders. All right, guys, we're back home, so I'm going to go through everything that we got. I'm going to be doing some different painting projects with the girls. So I got two sets of, of art brushes. I got these self-laminating sheets that I told you about in the store. And like I said, I feel like I can get two out of each. So that's like 10, you know, sight words cards I'm going to make for Zara. I got three of these for a particular project that I saw on Pinterest to do with her for math. And then I got two of these because they're gonna have, this is gonna what's gonna hold their journals and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about at the end. I got two organizing containers for some of their manipulatives. I bought this hand wash because it smelled really good and like I said, it was dye free and everything and another empty um, spray bottle for water. Then I got these tongs for Ava to use. Hopefully she could use these, but we'll see. Got this frog soap dish because it was cute for the girls' bathroom. I got this for another pro math project I want to do for Zara, for her with pipe cleaners. I got this jelly because my husband just threw it in the cart, not really sure why. I guess he wanted some. Um, Zara picked out this puzzle that she wanted. My husband wanted this candy, that's for him. Then I got these two contain organizers for their crayons. Um, I think two, they have each have two 24 pack crayons and I think they'll fit perfectly in here. Two composition books, because one is going to be a math journal for Zara, and one's going to be a pre-K journal for Ava. I bought this these, this to do uh, put the sight words on, and I'll let um, Zara color it in. She wanted some stickers to decorate her journal. I needed a highlighter, an extra washcloth. I really like these washcloths from um, the Dollar Tree. The girls have several, and they just needed an extra one, so I bought one. I bought this. Um because I really want to try that glue pen and see how I like it. Bought the girls two pencil cases to put in the, in this, uh, which is, like I said, going to hold their journals. Two folders with, these are really nice quality folders too from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have the three hole punch, but it has this little pouch here in the front. Like I figured I could put some flash cards in here or whatnot. So I got two of those. I bought these mini cups because I'm going to do a um sight words game with zara with these um and i'll share with you guys later if you guys are interested in seeing more like more of the activities that i plan on doing with them leave a comment in the down below and i'll post a separate video on it i bought them some washi tape to decorate their journals with and then this little Minnie mouse nightlight which was cute and this sudoku book that my husband wanted i also bought this board for them to i'm gonna put it on their little table and they can play with their play-doh on it remember i talked about that the hobby lobby hall at hobby lobby the board was a little bit bigger but it was 4.99 you know i just felt some type of way spending five dollars on a cardboard box so <laughs> i feel more better spending one dollar on a smaller one and it fits perfectly over their little table and that's it. We spent a grand total of $47.62. But like I said, this is all considered, to me this is still back to school or just like at home curriculum to do with them at home. 
So that's it guys, that's all we got from the Dollar Tree today. I'm really pumped and excited about this school year for the girls. I just really wanna um, do as much as I can at home to help their teachers and help them progress and everything. And like I said, leave a comment down below and let me know if you're interested in hearing more of the projects that I'm gonna do with them. I have uh, different goals that I wanna reach with both of them this year and I plan on tracking the, the goals monthly and creating them monthly when I do my typical uh, plan with me video. So like I said, leave a comment down below if you're interested and leave any um, advice or suggestions that you do with your kids if you have kids around my kids age um, down below because I love learning from you guys so but that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye